It's been some time since I've last posted a recording on YouTube, so I thought I would I thought I would do one now and perhaps pick speed back up on these on these videos. So something that I wanted to talk about today is how narcissists when they when they come across a target that they think might be someone, you know, compatible with them and potentially somebody with 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 certain vulnerabilities. Narcissists like to create this air where they basically communicate to the target that, you know, if you stick with me, if you take a step in my direction, everything will be just fine. And it's not just narcissists, it's uh, other highly manipulative people do that too. But narcissists, you know, it's one of their um, well-known traits is, is, is manipulation and they they're some of the people who do that most. So what they do is they create this air and which kind of draws the target in where the target, you know, in the narcissist, they see a solution, whether it be, um, you know, the target lacking confidence, doesn't think they can take the next step in life. And the narcissist kind of sees this gap between where the target is, where the target wants to go. And they think that they can make themselves out to be the perfect kind of bridge to this gap for the target. And, you know, they, they create that air. They, they, they exude certain behaviors. They say just the right things for the target to really kind of buy into the idea that, you know, the narcissist, this person who seems to care, they seem to be nice, they seem to be, you know, interested in my well-being, they're going out of their way to kind of help me. When when somebody is in need in a way, feeling very vulnerable, it's really hard not to fall for that kind of maneuver. And narcissists, obviously, they can't apply that trick to, to everybody. They can't get everybody to step in into their space and, you know, fall prey to the manipulations and all that. But they carefully choose certain targets. And when they do choose the right targets, the people who have certain, you know, um, shortcomings in themselves, such as lacking confidence, or they, they feel that they can't do something on their own. And if those people also have, you know, low self esteem, or just low boundaries, sometimes they find themselves, um, you know, potentially being targeted and falling prey. And once the person's in, you know, the narcissist, the, they will offer some help at the beginning. They will show a lot of caring at the beginning. And they'll really help the person feel complete and that they're moving in the direction to the things they want. But during this process, you know, even the first days, first weeks, there would have been a lot of inconsistencies on part of the narcissist. There would have been mismatches between the things they say and do. And the target, you know, most likely would have picked up on a lot of that at the beginning. But it's when the target's naive or hasn't really come across people like that before or don't really understand it, that's when they try to explain away the red flags. So while the narcissist does make themselves out to be the most logical next step for the person, for the target. There are lots of red flags that would have presented themselves. But if the target is very gullible, naive, needy, some combination of those things, maybe lacking confidence as well, and they really need to, to, to set their life in a certain direction that they find fulfilling, if they're in that space, it's very easy for somebody who comes with a lot of subtle promises or subtle indications that they that they're the best solution that they can really complete the target and help them go where they want to go give them the confidence to do it maybe give them advice maybe you know be a companion partner so narcissists they say and do just the right things to draw the target in and it all comes back to recognizing the red flags and obviously if someone's been in the ringer a few times with a narcissist, maybe two or three times in their lives, 
it's, it's much more difficult for them to fall prey. Or even if they do fall prey, they kind of see what's coming. It doesn't really surprise them that much anymore because they've been through it. It's really those targets that are naive, haven't really come across these personalities before, where even though they do notice red flags, even though they notice these certain inconsistencies that just doesn't feel right in their gut, they still find themselves explaining it away because they're trying to use their, their rational and logical mind to explain away um, you know, these, these undertones, these red flags, these toxic signals, which surface again and again, but it's really the target you know, allowing their wishful thinking to get the, be the better of them. They, they just don't understand that there are certain people in the world who don't think like them. You know, these targets don't, don't understand that narcissists and other highly manipulative people, their mind, it just doesn't operate in the same way in a sense that principles and morals don't really feature into the, the equation. And the whole self-centeredness and egotistical backdrop is very, very strong in the, the manipulators. And the manipulators also have a really strong level of cognitive empathy where they can kind of see how the target feels, kind of see how the target reacts to their prompts. And it helps them, um, you know, deliver their next move in such a way to, to, to give them a higher chance of reaching the outcome that they want, which is to conquer the target, to get the target to fall in their web. And it's all about, it's, it, and all of this is just about getting the target to really step into their space to create that dependency, because once that dependency is created, once the target accepts that the narcissist is their solution, that they're allowing themselves to be partnered up with them, maybe in a romantic setting, maybe in a companionship that's somebody that they can rely on going forwards, once they take that, take that step in and emotionally, once they emotionally open themselves up, they create so many bonds and that's so hard to break once it's been open. And that's what the narcissist is going for. They're trying to get the person to emotionally just open up and allow themselves to fall for the narcissist, which creates that dependency. And after that's created, the target will struggle immensely to step away from them because they reach that point where they... They wouldn't really know how to make it on their own after that. They'd have to go through a whole process to get back on their feet once they've opened themselves up emotionally and fallen dependent if they wanted to step away, you know, soon after step away. It takes a long time to do that. So just something to be wary of, especially if you haven't come across these people before. If you're watching videos on narcissism, if you're reading about it, chances are you can see the red flags. It's really the people who aren't reading about it and, aren't watching, and are not watching the videos who are most at risk. But um, it's just about, you know, if you notice these red flags, if you notice these inconsistencies, don't open yourself up emotionally completely to the person just because they seem to have a lot of promises and they're coming across as if, you know, they're the best thing since sliced bread for you. If, if the red flags are there, if the inconsistencies are there, then the good stuff that they portrayed probably isn't real.